What is happening guys? Mike here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are taking things back to Australia for another look at the brand Bayside Grooming and a couple of their new releases. Alright, so once again, welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for joining me here today. We do have a couple of new things to look at, like I said, from Bayside Grooming. They are a brand from Australia. We have reviewed their other items here in the past already, and when they reached out to me saying they had a few new things to check out, I was like, well, no. I'm not checking them out. I'm not going to. I don't know why I do this every time. I mean, I begin telling you what you already know and pretend like I'm telling you already. Like they contacted me for review and I said yes, and now we're here. But you already knew that because you. I, I just got to cut this off. This makes no freaking sense. I got to stop telling you stuff you already know and start telling you stuff you probably don't know, which is specifically what we're talking about today. And then the specifics on those specifics. Yes. Today we are looking at the all new limited edition matte paste and the new full time line edition styling cream. So two different products with two different goals and each one has its own story to tell. Starting first with the limited edition matte paste and uh, according to the brand this is an aloe based dry sticky holding paste of the matte variety. They say it can be used as both a pre and post styler for a great high hold all day endurance all that great stuff and then they say it's got some awesome ingredients going on in there including mango butter and watermelon oil. They also tell me it's limited edition so it's a get it while you can type thing and scent wise we have a light cologne scent that they're calling Meriwether and it sells for $25 Australian which is about $16.80 US. Looking inside the jar here though we got a very typical looking paste. It's pretty much everything you think of when it comes to matte paste. It's smooth, soft, it's got a slight thickness to it but the breakdown is very easy and as you do break it down there is a sense of dryness there and a bit of stickiness as well. But I also noticed that it had somewhat of a choppy breakdown as well, which is important to take note of. Moving on over though to the styling cream. And according to Bayside, this is an aloe base lightweight and conditioning styling cream designed to give control in loose holding styles. They also explain that it provides a natural finish and natural presence with again some conditioning benefits worked in there as well. For the scent on this one, they have a fragrance that they call Burwood, which is cleverly named for the notes of bergamot and cedarwood with West Indian Bay Leaf. The price on this one is $26 Australian, which is about $17.48 US. Inside the jar on this one too, we have a very different product than what we just saw with the matte paste. First, it's obvious that this one moved around a little bit in the jar, but it did come a long way, so we can kind of cut that some slack. But it does give light to how creamy this stuff is, but really it's not as creamy as you might be thinking. I would kind of put it as one step above lotion-like when you scoop it out, and then when you actually go to break it down, that's when it goes fully lotion like but interestingly enough when you do there's no real stickiness or tack that's present it's just all slickness pretty much now we are going to start the demos here with the matte paste and again i was told that this one here is able to be used as both a pre and post styler for the pre-styling aspect i'm actually wearing it right now as a pre-styler and i can tell you it's super strong in that method it's got a ton of hold actually my hair is just way more locked in than I was expecting. I mean, I didn't even use a post styler with this. Just one scoop in damp hair and then I blow dried it in and it was just totally locked down. After testing both the methods though, uh, pre-styler and then using it by itself as a, a post styler in both damp hair and dry hair, I did find one that I liked better and that's the one that I'm going to give you the detailed look at and that is using it as a post styler on dry hair. And for this demo we've got the usual dry hair, no pre stylers, tonics, anything like that and we are going to use one scoop here and once again that's because the hold is very real here. I mean this one has very good hold presence. And as I added into my hair it's also quite slick so that hold does get distributed all over fairly easily and I, I do say fairly because the breakdown is a little bit choppy so I did have to spend a little bit longer working it all in so it didn't get in clumped up in just certain sections. I wanted it spread throughout my entire head, obviously. But once it's all there, I actually found that styling was incredibly easy. I mean, it's 
instant pretty much. I mean instantly I had the basis of my style done and the fine tuning was minimal at best. I mean I, I really felt like this was one of those self styling products for sure. You just throw it in your hair, do some minimal moving around and boom you got an awesome style. And speaking of that here's the same style four hours later and I think it actually looks pretty much the exact same if not better. I mean this doesn't happen very often but I think there's actually a little more texture now than there was four hours prior and I think so far it's looking pretty good but check this out here this is actually 12 hours total after styling so an additional eight hours after that last check-in that we just saw and I think amazingly we are almost in the exact same spot again with the exception of a little volume loss I do think it, there's just a tiny little bit of loss in the front but the real story here is in that hold look how much is still there I'm giving it a little tussle there to try and demonstrate that it's like none of it has left it's still a hanging strong and for 12 hours in I think we can all agree that is what awesome looks like now though let's go ahead and move on to the styling cream here and this one actually has a pretty straightforward styling instruction it says to use it on towel dried hair and I did try that and it just wasn't for me I will actually discuss that more during my final thoughts but as usual I tried it in both towel dried hair and dry hair and I felt dry hair was better for me not just because of my own personal feelings about dry hair styling but as you're about to see it just didn't really matter to me in the end whether I did it on dry hair or towel dried hair it all kind of looked the same as you can see here my hair is fully reset as per usual and as I add in these scoops you can see it instantly changes the look of my hair I mean there's no escaping it it makes it look damp almost wet so that's why I say it doesn't quite matter as far as finish goes because either way it looks damp in the end where it does matter though is application and yes this method is a little tougher application because as I add this in here I do have a little bit of tug which was highly unexpected actually based on how liquidy the scoop was but you can actually see here that it does have a little bit of a waxy presence it's not full on waxy but it's got some firming up for sure and you can see that right here in the front this did make the application and some of the combing a tiny bit hard but as you do comb it through a few times it does get easier and it actually becomes easier and easier as you begin to shape and style and this is where the dry hair came in for me because it does give the product a little extra help and foundation when it comes to shaping and achieving an actual style in the end taking this style into four hours here I do think we have a strong sense now of this product's reliance on control versus hold and I do think it's controlling very well here I think we have a tiny bit of deflation going on just maybe a tiny bit not really enough to complain honestly but this does change a little bit more as we go into eight hours where we can clearly see some pieces have fallen there on the sides and some more deflation has taken place we can also see though that it does respond very easily to restyling and it can be fully reset with just some finger comb so all is not lost with this one so now that we've gotten through both of those let's talk sense here and between the two I do have to say the mirror weather mirror weather mirror I don't know if I'm saying that correctly the the light cologne scent is my favorite by far it's nice and light so my scent allergy was actually all about it it, it really doesn't affect me at all but I do think there's kind of, I, I get some kind of a Ventus-esque type things going on there. I mean, it's not a blatant copy of Aventus. I would be able to identify that super easily, but I, when I smell it, I do kind of get some Aventus vibes going on there, but it's just the right level of strength for me. I know it's there, but it's not like in my face all day or driving me nuts. So I am a big fan of this one to say the least. The styling cream, it has a scent for me that kind of reminds me a lot of the standard scent from like sheer revival for example it's kind of fresh not too strong not overbearing it's just that very particular scent you know this it's not the exact same again it's just it's, it's really it's similar moving on over to the washout though the washout on the the matte paste it was super easy water rinse came right out no problem done deal on that one the styling cream on the other hand was also what I would consider easy honestly but it did need one shampoo which again is easy for me because I wash my hair every day sometimes multiple times in the same day so again that's really not that big a deal for me but bringing it all together here for my final thoughts I think clearly there is one that I like over the other and 
that's the matte paste. I mean, my advice to these guys actually, if they want it, it would be to not make this matte paste limited, make it permanent, make it permanent because it works so well. I mean, guys, think about uh, Sheer Revival's Northern Lights, for example, but with more hold. And then, and that's what I think you got here. I mean, that that I hate comparisons, but if I had to make one, that's kind of where I'm where I'm going with it. It's kind of what I'm I'm thinking. And I know you guys are going to want to compare it to every other matte paste out there since there's a bajillion right now. And nobody's got the time to go through all of that and, and do that, let alone me. So here is the quick facts so you guys can do this on your own. Starting with the hold, I would call it firm for sure. It's got great presence in the hair, which is really good because it's got that great presence without weighing it down. And thick haired guys, you guys with thick hair, you can use a normal scoop like I did, or you can even use two if you need to, and you can get it squared away and then you thin or fair fine hair I almost said fair haired guys fine haired guys you can use a smaller scoop and you too can get some great results just use a little less I'm sure you can get some great results out of this I'm not able to talk today I almost combined another set of words I'm sure you can get some great results out of this because the hold it just really stands out for me it makes its presence really known and that's a great aspect to have the matte finish again textbook the styling as you saw just effortless really intuitive really awesome on that front the endurance i mean for crying out loud it's 12 hours it's fantastic i mean really what else can you ask for with that type of endurance those are the major areas of this one so you can use those again to compare to pretty much whatever matte paste you want for me though the parts on this one that i felt were worthy of some criticism was the volume i thought it was a tiny bit low and the same with the texture i mean there was some there uh, i'm not saying it was absent it was okay but with how dry it is i would have liked to see a little bit more of both the volume and the texture and then speaking of that dryness i do think that was kind of the only barrier when it comes to pre-styling it can get somewhat overbearing in that scenario i mean it really dried up quick with that blow dryer and while that hold is great i mean if, if hold is your goal when it comes to pre-styling this, this is going to work out fantastic uh but you know if you're looking for other stuff and you know using the pre-styler and a post styler it can get a little bit tough lastly we have this styling cream here and for me this one was more indicative of a pomade than a styling cream and we saw that in the styling for sure when it became evident that this one relies heavily on the ingredients to control the hair rather than using hold to command and mold the hair and i'm not saying it does it badly it clearly controls it very well and the way it does that is using those ingredients using stuff like glycerin for example which is one of those ingredients that coats the hair and for me it makes it look damp and when it's in that state it's very easy to control that being said I do think once we got past that initial feeling in the hair in the beginning which wasn't great in the beginning to be honest it was really stringy a little waxy it was kind of concerning to me there for a bit I was worried it wasn't going to turn out very good but it actually settled out and then styling became a lot easier out you know after I combed it through a few times and then I actually got a pretty decent result out of it I do think that their assessment of it being for loose styles is pretty spot on I think for sure that's a perfect assessment of it actually it never presented in my hair to me as something that was made for hold like the matte paste for example that really put that hold front and center I do think this is a pretty good change of pace though and in fact I did actually enjoy the result that I got out of this but honestly I would have loved for it not to have had that dampening effect that make it, making it look a little wet that was really just the big thing for me I mean that was really the only thing for me that kind of took it down a little bit but I do think because of that feature that thick haired folks like me should be just fine unless you need that stronghold of course if you're some of those people that really rely on the hold you might have some issues with that and then fine haired folks I I think it might be okay if you don't overdo it because it can take over a little bit if you use too much that is pretty much it though i think i covered all the bases on these two if you are interested in checking out either of these i will leave a link to the bayside grooming shop in the description there i am told that these will drop on friday february 21st 2020 and again i'm told the matte paste this one here is a limited edition it's made in limited quantities so it's one of those scenarios that if you're interested you gotta jump on it or you're gonna miss out so just be aware of that also if you'd like to leave me a comment on which one of these that you like 
liked better from today's review. And don't forget to also subscribe and turn on that bell icon for notifications of new content coming every week. Thank you once again for joining me here today. Take it easy. I'll see you next time.